Welcome to my bathroom. So today I'm going to show you guys how to thoroughly clean your contact lens. Sorry, I'm standing so close. Thoroughly cleaning, thoroughly clean your contact lens, depending on what type of solution you have. So I've got two types here. I've got the BioTrue, so this is a multi-purpose solution. Um, you can also use Renew, OptiFree, and then I've got a hydrogen peroxide cleaning solution, which is uh, ClearCare. Um, there are other brands on the market, like I know that Walmart sells their own brand of hydrogen peroxide, but as long as it's hydrogen peroxide, it's the same system. So depending on the ones that you pick up, there is specific hours that you have to leave it in there for, and this one is six hours before you can technically use it. So I'm going to show you guys um, on the proper way of cleaning the contact lens to make sure that you get rid of all the oils and residue and deposits on the lens so you can put on a fresh new one for the next day. Um, if you're wearing dailies, then obviously this doesn't apply to you because you just throw it out and put on a new one, but if you're wearing bi-weeklies or monthlies, this is really gonna help your contact lens and get a longer wear out of them. Let's say you are bi and they only last one week. There's probably a reason why. Maybe you're overwearing them or they're just collecting too much residue and that's making them uncomfortable for you to wear. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So before you start, I'm just gonna set up a um, clean station in case the contact lens drop on there then it won't drop on the counter or just drop on the towel make sure the towel is clean and obviously you want to start off with clean hands so i'm just you just want to dry it off on a non-lint um towel or paper towels um you don't want to use tissue just because tissues will leave lint residue, which will then will transfer onto the contact lens and then you're gonna have a lot of issues with it. So with the BioTrue or any multi-purpose cleaning solution, um, some of them does claim that it um, it doesn't require you to physically rub the contact lenses, but um, I would highly recommend you physically rubbing it with your finger just so that you can loosen up the deposits or dirt that's been on that lens the entire day. Um, so this one says that you soak at least four hours, but it is a multi-purpose solution. So if you have to take them off to shower and then put them back on within four hours, you're totally good to do that. Only for um, multi-purpose solutions. So with these one here, they're pretty easy. You just wanna make sure that you you take off your contact lens so i've got a contact lens here you want to place it into the palms of your hands just like that and you just want to put a couple drops in the middle of the lens and then you just want to use your ring finger and rub it gently every hour of the clock for 10 seconds and then it's very important for you to flip it over and clean the other side as well. And the same, you wanna rub it for 10 seconds every hour of the clock. And once that is done, you can then place this contact lens into your case. So the case, you should always be using new contact lens solution. You never top off old solution. So you want to put your contact lens in there. And then you just want to pour your solution in the case. Make sure that the lens is submerged under the solution. And then once you're done that, you can then close it up. And then you can leave it there till the next day and then you can take it off of the solution and then you can put them in your eyes right away. So that's going to be for the multi-purpose solutions, pretty simple. And you can use a solution to rinse if you have makeup in your lens or throughout the day as well. So now we're gonna move on to clear care. Looks like this. So clear care is a 3% hydrogen peroxide cleaning solution. Um, this bottle of solution here every time you buy it they will come with a little contraption that looks like this and this contraption is what's gonna do all the cleaning for you so there is a line on the bottom right here this is going to be the fill line so that's going to indicate to you where you pour the solution into um, so you want to fill it in just to that line right there um, and this red tip here is a reminder for you to never put this 
solution directly into your eyes unless it's been neutralizing in this capsule for at least six hours. If you're going to use this directly into your eyes, just remember this is a very strong cleaning solution. It's a chemical, it's hydrogen peroxide, so it's gonna burn your eyes if it hasn't been neutralized. So that's what this is going to do. So you're going to fill this up to the fill line. And that's good. And then you can take this little guy here and these little baskets will open up and you will see that little dome shape there. You wanna place your contact lens to match this dome shape. So these actually have labels um, for left and right. So this is going to be the right side and this is going to be the left side. So I'm gonna be putting in my left contact lens. So I'll be taking this left basket. I'm gonna open it up and I'm just going to put this lens into this dome here. It doesn't have to be right side or wrong side. You just have to match the dome. So you just wanna place it as center as possible so, so that the edges don't get caught once you close the basket. So that looks pretty good. And then you just close it up, do the same for your right side. I don't have my right contact lens on right now. You're gonna put this into the solution and then you're gonna close it up. And as you can see, there is a chemical reaction that's happening right now. Um, so as you can see the bubble, this is what's cleaning your lens for you. So right now, the platinum disc that's inside here is reacting to the hydrogen peroxide. And it's basically scrubbing your lens and cleaning that lens for you. Um, so once this has been in there for at least six hours, You'll have to just leave this on a flat surface somewhere. Make sure it's not tipped over just so that everything is neutralized. So it's been six hours. Um, it's best to do that at nighttime. And when you know that you're getting more than six hours of sleep, let's say you're only going to be sleeping for four hours, I wouldn't recommend using this solution. Um, and instead use this if you're not going to be sleeping at least six hours and you'll need your lens the next day. Um, if you are, then this is great. It can be more than six hours. It has to be a minimum of six hours. So it can be eight, ten, whatever. As long as it's over six, you are good. Once this is done, the next day, six hour has passed. You can just open it up. And you can directly place this contact lens. Oh, we got the left. This contact lens into your eyes directly. And if you have any that thing on your lens and you need to rinse it, you can actually use the solution that's in this little uh, guy here only because it's been neutralized. So this is just like saline. It's not gonna burn your eyes. You don't wanna use it directly from here. Just remember that the red tip is a warning for you not to put it directly into your eyes. Of course, there are instructions, so give that a read if you can. But basically, once that's been six hours, you can then rinse your contact lens with this solution if not you can dump it out and just let it sit on the counter to air dry um, and then you want to basically do that same thing at the night time so you repeat it every day so this um, cleaning system is going to do all the cleaning for you therefore you don't have to scrub anything for you if you're finding that your bi-weekly lenses are only lasting like a week and a half um, try this system out and see if that might help you just because you have a lot of residue on your lenses or dirt cling onto your lens that lens will not be comfortable for you to wear um, so this usually really helps a lot of my patients find that if they have a lot of residue at night or during the day um, this really helps it clean for them and it does all the cleaning for you so this is what i use every night um it really does clean everything the next day you put on a brand new pair of contact lens from here and it's already nice and clean for you um, these are the two that i use if you have any more questions you can leave it in the comments below and i'll see if i can get back to you thanks so much for watching hi guys sorry i took all my contact lens but i'm back because i totally forgot to mention that um with the hydrogen peroxide cleaning system it's not best um, if you're going to be traveling on an airplane just because this does need a flat surface to sit on for at least six hours and there are holes on top of this contraption so it will tip and the the solution won't be enough to surface it won't be enough to cover the contact lens if you're going to be traveling with this um, i would highly recommend if you're traveling on an airplane then just use your regular multi-purpose solution and then once you're in like hotel room or you're settled in then you can bust out the clear care and use it then that's just one thing I forgot to mention. And then always check the expiration date of your contact lens solution when you buy it. 
Um, you don't want to be using an expired contact lens solution. That's a no-go for sure. Um, and I think that's pretty much it that I've got for you today. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. But yeah, I'll see you next time.